sometimes is one case, single case, but which has um, a lot of meaning. You can read many things into it. Um, you are aware of uh, bringing uh, celebrity status uh, and hero status in, uh, in our history. And, and people manufacture it through a movie, through a film. And uh, take that even above the law. <laughs> the law well, of our land, the law of our country, um, which actually would not pass uh, the test of laws of other countries, even of those that think it should pass the test here in Rwanda. Uh, and, and expect us to, you, you know there is a case which, I mean, I'm saying it, it is not a secret, everyone knows it here, where somebody belonged to, or created, or led several times back and forth, or groups, armed groups that uh, been linked to genocide, and uh, so we, we, we have them here in the, in the court of law. It's absolutely surprising that people who have hundreds of years of history of, of this sort of thing I'm talking about, of justice, democracy, human rights, and so on, sometimes you rightly give us many lessons. Getting it so wrong in this particular case. But I understand it's not just getting it wrong, like they don't know. It's getting it wrong because of who they think we are. They just look down upon us. While you can look down upon me, you can uh, disrespect me to that extent. It's also my duty to make sure that uh, I don't agree with you. I would seriously object. That's what Rwanda is and should be for now and for the future. To absolutely object. So I see it every day, every now, you know, the Minister of Foreign Affairs has to explain, the Minister of Justice, the Minister, everybody. Me, I have to explain, you know, this one, no, no. So, the, so one time, some of these leaders you would have real respect for. One of them comes to me and say, you know, you see, you have to, have this man raised. I said, but I'm not the court, first of all. Second, even if I were to use my authority as a president, which would be abusing my authority, can you explain to me a little bit of why you think it should be the case that this man be raised? And you would say, but you see, you know, he's, uh, no, he's a hero, you know, uh, the people say, you know, you, uh, it's like he's rivaling you, <laughs> meaning me. <laughs> I told this guy, I said, no, I'm not a hero. I don't even want it to be, because uh, that's what I said uh, during the commemoration, the 7th of April. 
this uh, hero thing is how can you be a hero in a situation like ours of a genocide where you lose uh, well I, I, I would have one would have been a hero if we had prevented <laughs> this from happening in the first place but uh, we lost we lost uh, a million people over so I said okay fine if you think it should be released, uh, how about the families of the victims? People who were lost on the hands of this person and the groups he led that came and uh, killed the members of their families. What, what, what do I tell them? And I said, because he was not even arguing from saying, no, this person is innocent. No, because the evidence there is overwhelming, including the evidence he provides himself. Because he talks about it. He talks about what he did. Very proudly. Now, so I said, so what happens? Would that be justice? What happens to these people? Oh, then this person said, oh, 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 so they are there, they are victims. So I, I, we can also go on to them and say sorry to them, <laughs> because I had to remind him that there are these victims. Then I said, OK, how about others co-accused with him? Because there are 20 something, around 20, who also testify and first of all accept their responsibility themselves and testify against this person because they were together in the same crime. He says, so what happens to this? Do, 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 I, do we have this one released and this one will stay in prison and then the victims will tell them to shut up? Or, Say that's not how you would do things in your own place. Why do you want me to do that you are telling me to do? Of course, he would have no argument, but he looks like saying, no, you should do it because I'm telling you to do it. <laughs> or because this, the story about this person uh, concerns us. It's like we are the ones who made this person. Fact, which is true. They are the ones who created the status, celebrity status for this person. Because they wanted to build their own nar narrative about Rwanda, about us. So the effort is about changing victims to be the perpetrators. So the, 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 there are two narratives as what happened here in reality in Rwanda. So there is a counter narrative. No, it's not everything you see or you are told that is true. There is another narrative. Uh, and that's how uh, this story goes on and on. It's, it's, not, it's not about the people who are targeted in the genocide. Even if a hundred and something, all members of the UN General Assembly know the facts, one or two countries say, no, 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 we, we, because other people died also. It's not just the Tutsis who died, it's the others. Now, that takes us back to f find the interpretation. <laughs> what do you mean when you're talking about a genocide? Is it just the numbers of people who have died? 
or is it even the manner in which they died, being targeted for who they are? So where, where, what is the book you are reading about what happened here? Those of us who are here who know and everybody knows, how can the story change? Okay, but if you are saying, oh, even others died, that's okay, that's true. <laughs> By the way, sometimes they say, oh, but even the moderate Hutus died, they still died on the hands of the same people who are targeting these ones. No, but not only that, actually some foreigners died here. <laughs> we had Belgians died, Italians died, Americans died. There are many people who died here. So because you are saying, oh, even Americans died, even the Italians died in Rwanda, so it stops being this, what it should be called and what the UN has called it, it should be what we want it to be called. So we have to have the capacity, and we do, to really absorb this uh, insult, I should say. We, we, we have developed the capacity to absorb it and live our lives and move along. Uh, we, and we change what we have to change and uh, live with what we have to live with. Um, so I, I just wanted to be clear so that, so, and, and let me tell you, sometimes there, there, there are certain things about us, about our history, about the core of who we are, that no amount of intimidation can work here. I, I just want to, 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 I know maybe some people know it already, but I wanted, to, to, I wanted it to come from my own mouth and tell you that some of these things. And, and, I, and I really hope that even when I'm not there, that these other good Rwandans uh, will stand up to this kind of uh, uh, challenge we, we face every day. I, I really hope so. Uh, and I'm talking to you as friends, as partners, but I think I need to say this, and uh, I repeat it even some other times, because I, I've, it, it really burns in me to, to say it. So, I have to release it and let it go. Um, that uh, for this uh, precious uh, small land of ours we, we've fought and bred for and to put on the right path and that anyone can come and uh, of course, it becomes easier when they use Rwandans themselves. We see them every day, every while. Uh, but few, but so because of that narrative, the, some people outside there try to help amplify the, 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 the nonsense. Um, 